Well, this looks really cozy, actually. What is it? A bed by Ikea? It looks really nice. We are at sea. I see. This is a nice place out at sea. Very classy. The bed is very low, though. Let's take a look at that again. Look at how low that is. It's like an ankle. <laughs> ankle height bed. Anything I can pick up from here? Mm, doesn't seem like it. So who are my saviors? Kunukmak Tuktut. Me? Kate Walker. Um Ice Wall Fall. Oh boy. Where are we in Siberia? This is Yukol village. Kate Walker fall very hard on soft head? Probably. Am I dead and just kind of hallucinating this in my last moments? I'm looking for Hans Vorlberg. Where has he got to? Hans is here. Hans? Where's here? Where? Hans stay away. Him maybe voyage over. Hans is very sick. Where is he? With spirit woman. He prepared final leaving. Where is this spirit woman? Listen, drums, Kate Walker. I like your accent. You say my name funnily. Kate Walker. Bones. I got a reindeer antler. I guess it's a souvenir bowl. So, a nice village. Must be really cold, though. Like, even the structures are made of ice. And you're just sitting on ice and... Your butt's probably glued to the ice by this point. Hey, you calls. You cold. Tuk -tuk. Tuk -tuk. The owl again. <laughs> this harfang gets everywhere. Good. He's cooking. Probably something very delicious. As far as I remember, this place was pretty big, though. There's a lot of a lot of stuff to explore. Oi, come back here. What does this do? I'm gonna mess with your ancient traditions. And give me that. Hmm, are we fishing? Hmm, I kinda think maybe we can get some water, but maybe not. It does look like a fish hook. Later. You seem to be leading me somewhere. Fine, I'll follow you, buddy. I'll follow you to the ends of the world. I probably should have just gone to see Hans, really. But I get so sidetracked by these side places of the village. Man, look at these things uh, up on top. They look really sharp. I'd be terrified to walk under them. Because they can pierce your skull. Pretty much. Not a good day. Hmm, this place is indeed very, very big. A lot of walking. Might have to walk 500 miles, and then walk 500 more. Well, this looks like a lovely place full of corpses. Not much to see here, except this thing. What is that? Hmm. What's that? I don't know. What is that? No. Reindeer antlers? No. Well, I'm getting way too sidetracked, so I, I should probably just go and see Hans, because that will further the development of the plot, and then these places will become relevant. Maybe. I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more to be the man who walked outdoors, and I just went the wrong fucking way. You can do it. Go, Kate. Go. Go, girl. Seriously? Just crawl under them. Well, y you're the worst at this. Alright, so I basically have to break their intricate system, which is very nice of me. I walked all this way to see Hans and I can't even fu- This is like the lamest obstacle ever, man. Oi, Chiefy. Do you mind lending a hand? With this uh, stupidly easy-to-pass obstacle. How can I stop the drums? 
Can't stop drums, Kate Walker. Spirit woman, talk with spirits. Great. So I can't stop them, which is always great. It's a big, uh, big gate. Very metal looking. You know, there's this thing that you can walk on. It's very walkable. Why, why don't you walk on it? Mm, there's obviously a bridge here, but I can't use it. So many questions. Well, look at all these lovely supplies that I can't do anything with. Just walk past them. Or run past them, please. Oh, look, it's a Yuki pa 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 panel? Why panel? I got a fish bone. Maybe I can use that as bait to catch fish, which is weird, but it might just work. Gotta get that butt shot. Oh, is this the exit? Oh yeah, there's a train track here. We can get our train in. Why aren't they skipping this? Hi there. Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. My name is Kate Walker, and you are Nanuk Metal. Tuk tuk na. Nanuk tuk tut. Nanuk Metal. Tuk tuk na. Huh? I hope it isn't me you're scared of. Big Nanuk Metal. Big big. Tuk tuk na na. Ah, tuk tut. Yeah, I'll remember that one. It's just a train. A metal train. Yes, like Oscar. Big metal. Yeah, that's it. Tuk tut. It is not dangerous. Um, I think they might consider it dangerous. You don't understand me? Maktijak. Big nanuk metal na. I've got to say, I don't understand much either. Thank you. You are too kind. Kulit. Tuk tuk. He's like, um, fuck off. Just go fix it. And I will. Oh, that's cool. So that's... Oh, I get it now. Hey, Oscar. Um, uh, oh, I have to attach this to the train, probably. Yoink. Is it too heavy? Come on, girl. It's much too heavy. I'm gonna need some help to pull it to the train. Okay. Oscar, do you think you can pull it to the train? Or are, uh, your systems too, uh, delicate? Hi, Oscar. Kate Walker! But where have you been? I was, I confess, somewhat worried by your absence. Somewhat? But I'm here now, Oscar. Yes, I am here now, Oscar. I'm starting to worry, Oscar. You still haven't found Mr. Forelberg. I fear the worst. Even so, he is unlikely to have strayed far given his condition, Kate Walker. For sure. But where? Haven't you noticed, Oscar? The hillside is hollow, and the tracks lead right inside of it. Hmm, yes. It is indeed a strange situation. The hill trembles, then a gate opens, and some of the local inhabitants exit. They even came right up to the train carrying a cable. I spoke to them most correctly, but they ran away. Barum! I really don't see why. You've got to get us up and running and continue down the track. Impossible, Kate Walker. The engine springs need winding. I fear that we can advance no further, unless you expect to find a winding mechanism around here. I must say, I find it somewhat strange that Mr. Farrellberg had not foreseen that eventuality. Maybe he did. Have you found a way? Not yet. I get the impression the Yukuls are afraid of you. And why? I am not afraid of them. They've probably never seen an automaton with your degree of perfection before, Oscar. Most certainly not. Automatons like me don't grow on algae, you know. I'm off now, Oscar. I shall await your return, Kate Walker. Yeah, but what, what can I do to make them less afraid of you? Just start drinking. Just develop a habit. They'll trust you. Just put some reindeer antlers on. That'll just make it funny. But I need them to help me carry the cable so I can connect to the, connect the train. But they're just so fucking scared. Oh well. I gotta find some makeup for Oscar. Make him look all human and shit. 
That's what we have to do, right? Yeah, definitely. They should have some makeup lying around here. I imagine this is where you operate the cable that we're gonna attach the train to. Yeah. This thing's stuck. Stuck! That is such an emphasized stuck. Oh, well, I really thought that would work. But of course it's not gonna be that easy. I remember when I first played this game that the Yukal village was the place of many of my puzzle frustrations. So that there's that to look forward to. Oh, hello. Ooh. Leather strap. So, oh, I'm automatically made a slingshot because of course I need a weapon. What am I going to who am I going to use it on? Oh, hello. A cork bung. It just looked like the f a fucking rock. Empty flask. Come on, use it. On something. That was my first idea. Cork bung. He doesn't want to use it. Why not? I don't really want some water. You know, I wonder... Now that I have a weapon, I can't really attack anything, I don't think. Like anyone. Can I use it on the drums? Ah, there it was. We're just basically gonna damage their whole intricate water system. Which is not very nice of us, considering we just, we just crawl under this or jump over it. So sorry. Five hundred miles an hour, walk five hundred miles. Oh, make it stop. Oh my god. Hans! Ah, Miss Kate Walker. We waiting. That can't be comfortable for your neck. <laughs> that looks really fucking uncomfortable. Why don't you just put him on the bed? Ah, Miss Kate Walker. Miss Lady. You know me? <laughs> Miss Kate Walker expected here for a long time. But how do you know my name? <laughs> tuk tuk. Magic ears. Magic ears? <laughs> Miss Kate Walker talking sleep. Really? Did you undress me by any chance? What happened to Hans? You could find Hans lost in snow. He very weak. Is he sleeping? Hans in other world, in dream world. What? You don't mean that he... Hans make journey to country of ancestors. No, that's impossible. Hans abandon fight. There must be something. We have to find a doctor. No point, Miss Kate Walker. Hans already choose. There's this big white bird. It seems to have been following me since I left Romansburg. Harfang, guardian spirit of Yuko legends. Well, if he's been following me for so long, that must mean we're on the right track. Might be, Miss Walker, but it's only a bird. <laughs> I hope not. I'd like to believe in legends. I've got to find some way of helping Hans. Late, Miss Walker. Very late. Oh, we brought him back from the dead pretty much once. We can do it again. You say that the Harfangs are spirits from your legends. Okay. But then, why are there perches all over the village? <laughs> Even legend get tired sometimes. <laughs> Spirit. Waiting sign. A sign, you say? If Miss Kate Walker wants spirits near, she calls spirit with music. Oh, music. Now I have to make some music. Thank you. Cheers. Now I have to find a musical instrument. Like the drums that I ruined. <laughs> but I like that saying, even legends get tired. <laughs> that is adorable. 
Tell me about the long tunnel of dreams. Tunnel of dreams lead to country of ancestors. Isn't there any way to get Hans out of this stupid corridor? Not possible, Miss Kate Walker. Hans entered corridor all alone. Not one come back. Yeah, but there must be some way he can be made to see reason. Only one way. You go talk Hans in Tunnel of Dreams. But is very dangerous. You must know him very well. If not, danger for you, Miss Kate Walker. I know him. I can make him come back. More probably you not come back. That is danger, Miss Kate Walker. Never mind. I'll take the risk. Let's do it. What do you do to get inside dreams? Oh, that old yokel recipe. Can you make it? Not possible. Something missing. <laughs> Something's always missing. Which is? Fruit of the spirit door. Oh, what's that? Small red fruit of laughing tree. Oh. Laughing tree. And where can I find one of them? Laughing tree all gone. Laughing tree silent for long, long time. <laughs> laughing tree gone country of the ancestors. But there must be one left, surely. <laughs> Seems like the country of the ancestors is the place to be since everybody wants to go there. Even plants. If I want to lead Hans back through the long corridor of dreams, I have to find the fruit of the spirit door. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. See you later. <laughs> you will be surprised at what I can do. Because you might be telling me that it's extinct, but I know we're gonna find some. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna steal some of your crap first. Only the face of good spirit can bring chance. Face must make laughter, Miss Kate Walker. <laughs> it kind of made me jump there for a second. Anything else? Nope. One creepy mask is quite enough, I guess. I can go here, though. My god! Hans! What a terrible state you're in! Yeah, if only she would place you on this bed. Oh well. Hmm. More things. Take it, Kate Walker. Spirit of Night goes with you. Oh, is that the musical thing? To get the Harfang with me? Probably. They don't mind when I take their shit. They're like, oh, you just fucking take it. Yeah, just go. Just take it. There's, there's no bother at all. Rude. Hey, I think I found a way of bringing Hans back. Ah, very good, Kate Walker. Very good indeed. This mask symbolizes some sort of friendly spirit for the Yukels. Maybe if you were to wear it, the Yukels would agree to help me pull the cable. I'd look totally ridiculous. Kate Walker, I don't like the idea at all. Go on, Oscar. I'm only doing this for you, you know. There, there. Hello, little you calls. Oh my god. No need for alarm. Oh my god, it's terrifying. Look, <laughs> metal. Tuk, tuk. Go on. Come help. They're still not helping. That is terrifying, honestly. Thank you. To be sure. Kate Walker. Okay, I really could use the help now. Look, my friend Oscar can't be an evil spirit. He's wearing this pretty good spirit mask. Kulit, tuk tuk. Oh yeah, couldn't agree more. He looks way less dangerous like that. You saw, Oscar isn't dangerous. So will you help me now? Ganemuk, ganemuk, tuk tuk. Oh, thank you. Finally. Getting stuff done around this place. I 
could have lifted that. Good job, guys. It took you five seconds to do it. It took me ten minutes to run around and solve this problem. But now, I imagine I have to connect this cable to the that spinning axle machine thing. Because it's not connected. Or is it? Is it connected? Maybe. That would make my job easier, but... When was this game about making my job easier? Ever? Nope, that doesn't work. Nope. <sighs> it's stuck! Oh, that wasn't a very insistent stuck. It's only, like, mildly stuck. You know, you might not be able to tell, but I haven't played Siberia in about two weeks now. And, you know, it's because I've been busy with work and life happens, so... Let's carry on. Well, that's a pretty neat system. But now we're ready to finally, finally bring the train in. And then we're gonna progress with, you know, saving Hans's life and all that other crap. I mean, he's actually dying as we speak. Like, literally on the brink of life and death. Again. But we gotta get Oscar in. He's gonna freeze. Ish. Sort of. I don't know how it works. Uh, let's try this one. Looks like the train arrived in its, uh, final destination. Doesn't seem like we can take it further. Uh, which way? Because I really want to talk to Oscar and see how he feels about this. I did notice that on some of the other scenes, especially in this, uh, Yukol village, the foreground glitches out immensely, so I do apologize about that. I don't really know how to fix it, but I'll try to, like, edit as much as that glitching as possible so you don't have, uh, enormous seizures. Oscar, are you all right? Are you still here, Kate Walker? Whoa! Mr. Forelberg needs you terribly. Please do not procrastinate. Are you still here, Kate Walker? Wow! Ungrateful little... Fine, I know he needs me. And I got an idea of what to do. I think it's right in that cavern there. I remember bits of it, and it was pretty cool. Just have to take a look at my inventory and see what I actually have. Um, empty flask. I still think we need to go to that fucking fish hook and fill this with water, but it didn't work last time, so I'm gonna try it again. Persistence will prevail. Prayer wheel. We're gonna use this. Cork bung. Okay, the fish hook is not active. I don't understand. Oh my god, it's here. Seriously. I just saw it, like, go up <laughs> during the animation. It's like, oh my god, I was here all along. For fuck's sake. And now we have some water. We're gonna figure out where to use it later. I don't get it. The train is supposed to take us to Siberia. But the tracks stop here. Train ride over, Kate Walker. The voyage is over? No, Kate Walker. Voyage is still long. Well, if the train's stuck here, well, what are we supposed to do? Hans Vorlberg, he prepare everything. Oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Farewell, great chief. All right, time to do with the saving and the voyaging and everything. So we go to that cave that was behind the train. You know, in a... Uh, in a couple of hours, as long as it takes us to get there. 
And we're here. Almost. Almost there. So close. So close. We didn't get this visual before. Ah. So that means we're doing something right. Okay, let's go further in the cave. So there's a little mousy that we're gonna do horrible things to. And a puzzle. I think, well, you can pretty much imagine these are the extinct berries that we need to get, but they're um, kind of locked uh, inside the ice. So I think we need to get the little mousy buddy to join us, but he's not gonna cooperate that easily. So we're gonna have to motivate him slightly. There's a mammoth in that ice, by the way. And now we can call on the Harfang. Hey, buddy. I don't know why I pressed it again. <laughs> the Harfang must be like, Bitch, I'm already here! <laughs> so what can I do with Mr. Harfang? I think the mouse is just gonna be frightened of it. Yep. Aw, poor buddy, he's so frightened. I'm sorry. Um, the worst is yet to come. Uh, okay, so I can't put the cork in any of these, but I can put them in here. So now, so now the buddy's kind of uh, locked in, and I think I need to get these. So we're basically kind of gonna drown him, which is not very nice. Did that work? That did fuck all. Okay. Oh, and I need to get more water. Okay, you can see why this is a waste of time. If you need to figure out the puzzle, going back and forward a long fucking way to get some water is really... Mm, where there's, there's water all around me, for fuck's sake. I mean, I like the visuals. I'm just ripping into this game because if you have a puzzle here, and one of the pieces of the puzzles is a replaceable thing, you should probably put it a bit closer, because it literally takes you, I don't know, maybe two, three minutes back and forth. And if you have to try to figure out the puzzle every time, that's not great. But I still love this game, don't get me wrong. <laughs> this Harfang. Now, another thing I need to do is I, I need to get the little buddy outside of the hole because I think he's supposed to go to the left and I need to plug that hole, that right hole so he doesn't go in it. So I need to take this and get the Harfang back on another perch and then call him. Yay, more walking. But we're figuring it, we're figuring out puzzles. Where was the nearest perch? God damn it. But Forget walking 500 miles, I'm walking 10,000 miles. <laughs> Silly bird. And back we go. Okay, so at this point, you might want to make a save game where you have a full flask of water and no harfang. Just so you can revisit this point and not have to run around like I did. Okay, little buddy. It's safe to go out now. Good. So we're gonna plug this up. Yeah. And then we're gonna call the Harfang so the little buddy can go into the other way. Let's see what that did. You go, little buddy. Okay. So we take the cork now, because he can't get across. There we go. You go, buddy! And now I think we're gonna have to drown him or something. So what do I need to plug? Maybe... that. Well, let's see. I have a save file. You did it! And you survived.
Are you eating them? Oh, he just put it. <laughs> he put them in his mouth. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> um. Okay, so you can't get up there. Um. Oh, fishbone. Yes. Thanks, little buddy. What an adventure. I hope the Harfang doesn't eat you. And I got the dream fruit. And the cork. That's some weird music, man. I like it. And we did something right. Hello, frozen mammoth. Hey, you could take... You could bring Hans here, and he'll see the mammoth, and uh, trip is over. I'm just gonna call the Harfang here, because I really don't want the little buddy to get eaten. And there we go. Now to make some psychedelic berry smoothie. Okay, so I, I, I can't put the dream fruit on you. I found the fruit of the spirit door. You want go? No doubting, Miss Walker. Yeah. If it's the only way to bring back haunts. <laughs> good. Very good. Tuk toot. Let's do it. 